Hello, I'm Fantastic and Fantastic, and today I want to share with you lovely ladies and gentlemen my UN3 co-op leader swapping setup for fast rank ups so I can get my stamina back at any time I want. So, basically Sylvia as a leader when entering a dungeon gives you 1.8 times rank experience, and I have two Sylvias as leaders, but with Fasca and her active is swapping people around, I actually get to put C Tona as my leader, and C Tona is still gloriously good for this dungeon, so I did something similar before, but I've updated it with Sylvia now, and it's glorious. And both accounts actually have these cards, so I'm basically going to kind of narrate through what I do. So Artemis is here because she's two turns of penetration at 9 star rarity. This tennis guy is just for the combo bonus he gives. Oh yeah, this is a delay from Sylvia. And then taste. <laughs> with, with, with taste and fine there. I need to get to the other side now to swap them in position. So, transform some tuna. Swap it around. Pop Meredith for the haste to get myself up. It's airship for the extra. And now we're on we're all in position, we're all ready to transform, we're good to go. Okay. So I just need to make sure I match enough. Wait, I'm playing a different team. I don't need hard TPAs. I don't need healing. I just need, like, red to playing a different team than I was just before. Okay. Hey, this next floor, I have to actually combo a little bit. A little, little bit. Just a little bit. I need to kill the middle guy, of course. So I pop Meredith to get the penetration, and then Seawolf after to get a board. And then I need to actually combo. Just trying to make more combos. Have to hit at least 10 combos in order to kill things. And now we're fine. So, small board and negative combos would normally be a disaster, but this tennis man, he's here to give bonus combos. So negative four combos negate is negated by my plus four combos. Like in theory, I don't even need to get this extra red match. I could, probably should have, but don't need it technically. Cause I still hit enough combos now because I negate the bonuses. All right, negate the debuff, I should say. Let me do it again because it needs two turns this floor. I don't like how this floor has an on death animation. I realize I could pretty I could definitely make this a little faster if I inherit a four turn absorption cancellation, but I'd rather take Paimon for all the OEs and dance for one more turn. Dancing for one turn is not the end of the world. Or I could just leader swap, leader swap, or no, pass pass, like there are options. So what I'm going to do is just like, let it hit me. I don't even care. The way things time it just better this way. Won't be able to kill it. The absorption is annoying. Or maybe I could have, I guess. It just times because the L is only on Mantastic or Player 2 side. So I guess this one turn I kind of foul I could have passed past and then just like, use Howling Time on, I guess. I'm debating how I want to address this one part, but for now the team seems to work anyway, so... This is why Halloween Paimon's nice, because there's more OEs. OEs in general is basically what I stacked 
HP is not super important because we already have enough health with C-Tona. Because now it'll time properly when I get to the absorb, well, get to the assist removal floor. And the... I'll explain that side when I get there. So basically, I just need to remember that, in theory, I don't even need to combo Mark. As long as I do this, things die, basically. Light TPA, red TPA, things die. Okay. The damage is high, and there's not as much health compared to like the later UNs. So my assists are removed, my buffs are removed, I don't care about those anymore. So, this guy, he has six L's, so one blue L is enough to get me back into the spot I want to be. So, I'm going to just do that. One blue L. Puts it all back with little stress, is the idea. He also has damage penetration, which is everything I want, basically. Most of my subs are damage penetration, because that's what I don't do. Sylvia's absorption solution. Again, like I said, red TPA, light TPA, blue match. All you need. You barely need a combo because Sea Wolves have Dragon and Healer Killer and double TPA weapons, so they just smash through most of the dungeon. Most of this dungeon is amusingly a dragon. He has latent of balance and god. I don't know which one I'm supposed to have actually. What did I put? Is it god? Maybe it was god. I don't know. I don't think it mattered too much, I guess. I guess you could use Unmatchable Latent, but you have two Faskas, so I'd just rather Fasca anyways. Light TPA, Red TPA, that's all I care about. But, Tris, you take care and enjoy yourself. I like how he says, oh, you're good. Thank you. Alright, do you have a chance the faster spawn? The reason why I brought the bonus combo guy with actual skill with bonus combos is because this floor could be annoying against Sima Yi, but Diao Chan is not an issue, so we just go. Red TPA, light TPA, blue whatever, things die. And there's no, like, gravities in this dungeon, so C-Tona is great. So on this floor, I like to use Meredith, because Meredith charges up a little faster than the tennis guy. The Cascade the Red TPA for good measure. To be fair, with a Dragon Killer, it's five times damage on that spawn. Only he gets delayed. He has plenty of... He's fine. <laughs> Alright, oh, I didn't match a Light TPA. That could be a mistake. Luckily, Red does so much damage anyway, so he's a god. I think it's supposed to be god killer latents. I don't know why it's a balance. Drain, how about let's take a look. At the end. We'll take a look-see. And this is basically like swiping as well. Like, every floor is one turn. It's... I, I kill it. I don't know why I'm trying so hard. And hello, Big Test. Welcome back to the stream. How are you doing today? 
Riz says they've always wondered, if you have a killer on someone that caps... No, it doesn't work. No, killers add five times more damage. Alright, this is where Artemis is nice because I need all these turns of penetration. Is also the right absorption counter technically. So I don't even need Sylvia anyways. Artemis does it. But Sylvia would have been if there was the damage absorption spawn instead. Oh my goodness! I tried so hard to... Oh my goodness. I didn't TPA or didn't get red because they're negative. Oh, I took an extra turn. This destroys my hopes and dreams. Oh, shoot. Why did I match that properly? Okay, I at least have another turn from Artemis, but still, that was a mistake. Whoops. Okay. Got too complacent with my matching. So now my penetration is going to come up at the wrong time, so I'm going to have to dance on the boss, which I don't like. Ah, I made a mistake. Ah, it hurts me inside. Normally the Artemis would have- I would have killed it on the last turn. Can I even hurt it? I'm just curious. I'm just curious how much damage. I do have unlimited swipe or passes, so I should be using those. Oh well. Although him getting attack debuffed is actually a problem. What did he's Meredith? Okay, we'll kill this guy, and then we're gonna suffer on the boss. Unfortunately. So, I gotta wait for two... T I gotta wait for Meredith to come up. So what you can do, in theory... This should have been killed in two turns, but that was... I made mistakes. So what you can do is you can pass things to yourself to get her to come up faster and wait for this C Tona to like stop being debuffed. So could have killed it in two turns, but I made a mistake, so imagine this is done faster. I'm just gonna wait for Meredith to come up and then just kill it. Or yeah. So we wanna get some crosses in here because I have got sticky blinds and why suffer? Saska solves that problem. Can't hurt it because the void again. You can keep passing forever in co-op now. So it's a way for me to get this Meredith back up. So what I could do is I can actually pierce now. Meredith comes next turn. See Tona and make it work. Although my board is bad, maybe I should have waited. Oh well. I get excited. Hopefully one of the sea wolves does enough damage here. Yes it does, and then I can pass back in Meredith and I'll win. As long as I don't have too many negative OEs. Unlimited passing is great. I should have used bonus combo man for damage. Should kill it this turn. Meredith also technically does 
big donkey donk damage too. Okay, so imagine that was done properly instead of me whiffing that Artemis board. Either way, it works pretty well, this team, and look at the rank experience! Well, keep looking! It keeps going and going, like, it's a little absurd. And if you need Super Snow Globe Dragons, this is a pretty fantastic place to get Super Snow Globe Dragons. I think UN2 has a better drop diversity, but if you want to make things level 120, and you want to do it all the time, this is a great dungeon to pick it up. It's under 15 minutes, Drayton. Like, okay, if I don't mess up that floor, it could be like 12, 13 minutes maybe. That time frame, give or take. I messed up, I'm talking, it could be slower. Oftentimes I do this while possibly like doing something else, so to speak. Either way, hopefully this video gives you some insight as to what you could do if you really want to try and push rank experience farming. But remember, Leader swapping of Fasca can be quite advantageous. So, with that being said, I wish you all the very best luck in your own pet adventures, and happy puzzling!